Sixth generation fighter jets are the future of air dominance, but they have a fatal flaw. An engine that can't handle the hellish temperatures needed for truly next gen performance. For years, this has been a barrier for even the most advanced air forces, a wall of physics that seemed unbreakable. The Dream is an engine that gives a pilot more speed, more range, and more power than their rival. But the reality is a constant battle against metal fatigue, stress, and catastrophic failure. What if one country just cracked the code? China is making claims about a new superalloy, born from a revolutionary manufacturing process that can reportedly withstand temperatures that would turn lesser metals to slag. This isn't just a minor upgrade, it's a potential shift in global air power. It's a breakthrough that could give China's pilots the edge they've been chasing for decades and, just maybe, pave the way for a whole new generation of combat aircraft. To understand why this is such a huge claim, you first have to appreciate the sheer, raw violence happening inside a modern jet engine. It's less a machine and more a controlled, continuous explosion. Air gets sucked in, compressed to unimaginable pressures, mixed with fuel, and lit on fire. This inferno of hot gas is then blasted through a series of intricate, fan-like structures that make up the turbine. This is the heart of the engine, and it's also the weakest link. The turbine section, made of discs and the blades mounted on them, is what turns that raw thermal energy into the rotational force that hurls a multi-ton aircraft at supersonic speeds. Think about the forces at play. A single turbine blade, often no bigger than your hand, is spinning so fast it experiences centrifugal forces like hanging a London double-decker bus from its tip. Now, imagine doing that while being roasted in temperatures far hotter than the melting point of most steel, which is around 1535 degrees Celsius. This is where material science gets pushed to its absolute limit. The materials have to be incredibly strong to avoid being ripped apart, but also incredibly resistant to heat to stop them from deforming, a phenomenon known as creep. If a blade stretches even a millimeter, it can scrape the engine casing, leading to friction and, potentially, a catastrophic failure where the blades break loose and shred the engine from the inside out. For decades, the world's aerospace leaders, like America's General Electric and Pratt and & Whitney, have been the undisputed kings here. They pioneered exotic materials called superalloys, complex, nickel-based cocktails engineered to survive inside this mechanical hell. The ultimate goal for turbine blades has been to forge a single crystal component, a part made from one, perfectly formed metal crystal, with no grain boundaries to create weak points. This is the holy grail because it allows for higher operating temperatures. And a hotter engine is a more powerful and efficient engine. This quest for the perfect engine material is nothing short of a new arms race, fought in the advanced metallurgy labs of global powers. For China, this has been a long-running national frustration. For decades, the country could build advanced airframes, like its J-20 stealth fighter but it has consistently struggled to produce a reliable, high-performance jet engine to power it. Their engines, like the WS-10, have been plagued with issues like short service lives and lower than expected performance, forcing them to rely on Russian designs or just accept a capability gap. It's like building a Formula One car but having to drop a family sedan engine under the hood. You just can't get the machine's true performance. The WS-15 engine was supposed to be the answer the power plant that would finally let the J-20 Mighty Dragon achieve the supercruise and maneuverability it was designed for. Yet, reports have consistently pointed to bottlenecks in producing turbine blades and discs that can reliably handle the immense stress and heat. China knew that closing this gap wasn't just about copying Western designs. It required a fundamental breakthrough in how they create the materials themselves. They needed not only the critical elements like nickel and the incredibly rare rhenium, but also a manufacturing process that could form them into flawless components. For years, they trailed the West, seemingly stuck a generation behind. The problem wasn't just the recipe for the alloy, it was how you bake the cake. And it seems a team in Northeast China might have just rewritten the cookbook. The reported breakthrough comes from a team at the Dalian University of Technology. They have apparently pioneered a novel manufacturing process that tackles one of the toughest challenges in creating superalloys, cooling. When you forge a superalloy turbine disc, the cooling process is traditionally slow and hard to control. 
This can create an imperfect crystal structure, with tiny grain boundaries that become weak points under stress. The Dalian team's solution is both brutally simple and technologically elegant. They blast the forged superalloy disc with a precisely controlled mist of high-velocity water jets. Using a sophisticated computer model, they can optimize the placement of every nozzle and the pressure of every jet to cool the massive metal disc with incredible speed and uniformity. According to their published data, this method achieves a cooling rate that is nearly four times faster than some conventional methods. So, why does this matter? Faster, more uniform cooling leads to a much finer and more evenly distributed grain structure in the metal. This results in a finished turbine disc that is significantly stronger and more resilient to heat and stress. While this process doesn't create a true single crystal disc, a feat not currently feasible for a component that large, it does create a stronger internal structure that addresses the very hard disease that has afflicted Chinese jet engines. It's a manufacturing revolution that, if proven, could allow for greater strength and a higher threshold for heat. This is the technique that researchers hope will allow their alloys to withstand operating temperatures that would put them in the same league as the most advanced engines from the West. A successful lab experiment is one thing. Bolting that tech into a fighter jet flying at twice the speed of sound is another. Integrating these new turbine disks into an engine like the WS-15 is a hugely complex and expensive challenge. Any misstep could lead to costly delays. However, if China succeeds, the implications are profound. A reliable, upgraded WS-15 engine would transform its J-20 fighter from a capable fifth-generation aircraft into a true world-class air superiority platform. It could finally enable supercruise, flying at supersonic speeds without using fuel guzzling after burners, dramatically increasing its combat range and effectiveness. But the ambition doesn't stop there. This technology is seen as a key enabler for China's sixth-generation fighter programs. Speculation is swirling around recently sighted, tailless prototypes, reportedly designated the J-36 or J-50. While there's no official confirmation that China is ahead of Western timelines, these concepts are expected to feature AI, drone control, and directed energy weapons, all of which need enormous power from an incredibly advanced engine. This superalloy technology could be the foundation that future is built on. This is more than a technological achievement, it's a strategic one. By aggressively tackling the final piece of the jet engine puzzle, China could reduce its reliance on foreign technology and solidify its position as a top-tier military industrial power. The nation that once struggled to copy old engines is now pioneering manufacturing techniques that could define the next era of air combat. The race for the skies is no longer just about stealth, it's a battle being fought at the molecular level. This reported breakthrough is a clear signal of China's ambition. But lab results don't always translate to battlefield superiority. Do you think this new superalloy technology will allow China to surpass the West in jet engine development within the next decade, or will the challenges of mass production slow them down? Let me know your analysis in the comments below. And if you enjoy deep dives into the technology shaping our world, be sure to like and subscribe. The story of China's engine development is a powerful illustration of modern geopolitical competition. It shows that the future of air power might be decided not just by pilots, but by breakthroughs in material science happening in university labs. The problem has long been a wall of heat and pressure limiting their aircraft's performance. Their proposed solution is a revolutionary manufacturing process, a rapid, water jet cooling technique that could forge stronger, more resilient superalloys. While the journey from a prototype to a fleet of operational fighters is long and filled with challenges, one thing is clear, the technological gap appears to be closing. The battle for the 21st century sky is heating up, and China is determined to be a major contender.